Hi, many of us have cats and dogs at home, and you may even have acquired them as tiny little babies. Or your adult pets may have made you such a gift. Newborn kitties and puppies are no surprise to us anymore, though we won't stop melting when we see them. How about other baby animals? What's their way of growing up? How do such giants as hippos and pandas look as they come into the world? We've prepared interesting facts about 11 different exotic animals that are transformed from tiny little beings into adult individuals. Here we go! Hedgehogs Hedgehogs are absolutely adorable creatures, but did you know what their newborns look like? Their weight is usually only about 12 grams and the size is 7 centimeters. It's also very interesting that newborn hedgehogs have no needles, but they begin to grow in 2-3 to three hours after birth. For the first 24 hours of their lives, baby hedgehogs stay blind and deaf, but they grow fast, and in many more ways they differ from their newly born species. The infants make a cheeping and clicking sound that are signals for mother hedgehogs and help them understand the baby state. Hedgehogs can run, reaching the speed of up to 3 meters a second, swim perfectly well, and they're remarkably good jumpers. Hedgehogs are considered to be the most ancient mammals. Just out of the blue, isn't it? They've been inhabiting the Earth for 15 million years. Amazing! Are you ready to take this little cutie home? Vultures. Look at that nestling. Yeah, it may not be so cute as a kitty, but there's something to surprise you. Vulture chicks are able to fly 80 days after hatching, but it takes much more time for them to mature. As for extraordinary appearance, people supposed a bald head helped the birds avoid getting muddy after a meal. However, nowadays, scientists have noticed that vultures stretch their necks when it's hot and hide them into their wings in cold weather. As a result, they've come to the conclusion that unfeathered head and neck help them control body temperature, as skin with no feathers enables it to lose heat. The Himalayan vulture is the largest. It may reach up to one meter and a half long. The wingspan may be three meters point one. Andean condor is regarded to be the heaviest species. It has a weight of 15 kilos. In respect of the smallest representative, the palm nut vulture should be mentioned. It's just 60 centimeters in length and 1.7 kilos in weight. They're quite smart birds. Like some monkey species, they use different objects to get food. For example, they regularly use stones to break ostrich eggs. Vultures often feed on dead animals or decaying flesh. But how do they avoid intoxication? The thing is, immunity of the stomach. The bearded vulture's stomach pH has been estimated to be 0.7. The acid concentration is so high that the birds can digest even bones. We don't know exactly how their immune system manages with pathogens, but researchers hope its study will help to understand how our immunity system challenges pathogens, and it may lead to working out new treatment strategies. Wonderful birds! Sunfish Look at those amazing little fish! Can you believe that such tiny buddies are young, giant ocean sunfish? It sounds impossible, but after hatching, the size of these tiny fries is just 2 millimeters and the weight is less than 1 gram. And in several years, the fish is already 600 million times larger. Wow! Ocean sunfish is the largest bony fish in the world. Its weight can reach 2 tons and it thrives up to 3 meters long from a tiny little thing into a giant. Fantastic! You may also be impressed with its fertility, as it hatches about 300 million spawns. Realizing incredibly huge sizes of ocean sunfish, it is striking what a tiny thing a newly hatched small fry is. An interesting fact is that sunfish, also known as Mola Mola, gained the name because of its flattened round shape and color, but it also can change color if it feels a potential threat, just like a chameleon. Another reason for it being called sunfish is that it enjoys laying and sunbathing close to the water surface. It's considered that it behaves like that in order to get warm and prepare for low temperatures in the deep, her habitat. Thus, the fish combines a pleasant and healthy lifestyle, because on the surface of the water, birds help her get rid of parasites. What a smart fish! Pandas. 
Won't you agree that most of us adore pandas and people's hearts are touched watching videos with cute little panda bears? Many people have not seen panda cubs that have just been born. The babies are extremely small. Just imagine, when first born, they are only 17 centimeters long, weighing 200 grams. Baby bears arrive into the world being absolutely blind, pink with a thin layer of white fur on their bodies, so to make the cub grow faster and become stronger, the mother feeds them 14 times a day. In the end of the first month, the little bears have all color patterns. Their eyes are open after four to six weeks. In a half year, a panda gains 20 kilos. An adult panda can weigh from 90 to 135 kilos. Unfortunately, the reason why only a few people have seen cubs is that pandas are regarded as an endangered species. The main cause is that pandas' reproduction is very slow, and as a rule, they give birth to offspring only once every two years. Does everybody know that pandas enjoy eating bamboo? Of course, but we also know that it's going to be hard for a person even to chop down a bamboo stem. How do these cute black and white bears manage to have such a firm snack eating large portions of this treat? It's easy to explain. You have definitely paid a lot of attention to cute, plump panda faces. They've obtained such face shape owing to strong jowls and cheek muscles that give the bears the ability to bite through bamboo stems. Let's protect these cute creatures, and for good reason. After all, they are a symbol of the World Wildlife Fund. Hippos. A hippo is one of the most popular African animals. Every safari, people stream to watering places to watch these unhurried animals. However, watching them at daytime, we lose an opportunity to uncover many of their secrets, for they spend much of their time in the water. Let's start from birth. A female gives birth to a baby in water and babies don't mind it because they spend the first days of their life having a natural bath. You can often watch them lying on their mom's backs. They always have only one baby weighing from 27 to 50 kilos. There's a variety of pygmy hippos. They have babies weighing four and a half to 6.2 kilos. The little beings can stand on their legs right five minutes after birth. The fact of birth is rather exciting. A newborn can hold its breath up to 40 seconds. Mom has to push him up to the water surface for the first breath. But this concerns only common hippos. Pygmy hippo babies are born on the land. The infants always try to keep close to mother's neck so she can give them protection from vicious males. It should be mentioned mother hippo is quite strict and corrects a babe for disobedience, rolling a naughty one over the ground. It looks tough, but she doesn't cause any harm to her sweetheart. On the contrary, if a sugar lump realizes its naughtiness and owes obedience in a submissive posture, mom stops straight away and pets her cutie. The milking period is 18 months. A young one is capable of taking milk both in water and on the land. A hippo, cetaceans and serenians with it, is a rare example among mammals whose babies can suck milk underwater. A year after a little hippo is able to get along without mom. It becomes fully grown in 6 to 15 years. There's more to come about other animals. If you enjoy the format, please share a comment and we'll make one more video comparing baby and adult animals. Subscribe to our channel not to miss it and comment on what kind of animal we should tell you about next time. See you!